Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another Bungie news video, another Bungie update. This one is a good one, a little bit more to talk about this week, actually quite a bit more to talk about this week. We've got some great things on the horizon for Destiny as a whole, there's some important stuff in game that we need to talk about, and there's, uh, well, there was, they, they addressed that little issue that happened earlier this week. If you were playing and you noticed that they were down for basically all day uh, Tuesday or the reset when everything went live people's stuff was disappearing and they talked about how they got it all fixed welcome to another video guys thanks for watching thanks for checking it out I'm gonna be jumping back and forth between looking at the TWAB because there is some images in here that I do want to show you and then we're also gonna be taking a look at some gameplay in the background of the sundial on my hunter uh, and I'm gonna be going back and forth just so you know what's coming so let's first off let's talk about the TWAB let's talk about this week at Bungie uh, last week they did tease we were going to get a little information about the Imperium Foundation and hell yeah we did so we're going to talk about that in a minute. Make sure you stick around though because we're going to be talking about how you can get some free exotic gear as well in this video a little bit later. But first let's talk about the hiccup. Let's talk about the little mess up that they had when patch 2.7.1 was deployed. Basically what happens if you don't know when 2.7.1 was uh, deployed uh, there was lots of people talking about losing in-game currency anywhere from from glimmer to shards to you name it things were disappearing I did not get to jump in to destiny and check it out while well, right after it went live I was at work so I didn't get to check didn't get to see if I even lost anything uh, by the time I got home destiny was already down it was down for a few hours um, the Bungie team or the team over at Bungie did jump into action basically an hour and a half after the patch went live they took the game down they figured out what was going on uh, they implemented the fix and the only thing that they were able to really do to make sure that nothing was lost was to roll back everyone's characters now don't worry it wasn't that far uh, basically all it was was if you play the game after the patch went live like I said there was about an hour and a half that the game was live and um, this is when people were reporting that there were issues anything that happened in that hour and a half of the game going live that is what whatever progress was earned that is what was lost so right before reset when the game was brought down for the patch that's what it was rolled back to. So I got to congratulate Bungie on this personally, in my opinion. Everybody has their own opinion. This should have never happened, blah, blah, blah. I heard this, I heard that. But um, things happen. You know, the mistakes are made, issues, bugs. Uh, you know, it, there, it's out there. There's nothing you can do about it. The fact that they took the game down immediately, figured out what the, what the problem was, and literally hours later, they were able to bring it back. Everything was returned to every player. Every, nothing was lost. Uh, and then the patch was 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 put back online i think they did a good job with this that was handled well, from what i could tell really the only way that worked so i would have to say it was an unfortunate thing that happened but i'm glad it was dealt with the way it was dealt with so let's move on to some more important and interesting stuff empyrean foundation okay so what the heck is it let's talk about it a little bit still enjoying that gameplay in the background but we are going to be switching over to the twelve because we got an image to look at real soon so what the Empyrean Foundation is, is it's going to be an effort to rebuild uh, the Empyrean Foundation, which is, you're going to be doing this with Saint-14. Probably going to be a quest, I would guess, associated with this. Um, but this is also our next community event. If you remember a few months ago, we had a Hive community event where we had to go back uh, into or onto Mars to do escalation protocols, do strikes, do a whole bunch of other stuff on there. And as a community, we had to kill a whole bunch of enemies and all that stuff. And then we earned a special emblem for doing all that. Well, this is uh, the next the next step in that progress, it seems like. So as a community, what we are going to be doing essentially is earning Fractalin and depositing it into the Tower Obelisk, which is going to help rebuild the Imperial, Empyrean Foundation. I'm summarizing a lot of stuff here. As always, check the description down below for the full TWAB so you can go in and read all the details that I am uh, leaving out. Now, a couple of things that people didn't like about the community event last time was we really didn't know about the progress we were making unless we were getting updates directly from Bungie via Twitter. That was really the only information the way I was seeing it. Well, they took that into account for this one, and there's actually going to be a hologram that is going to be displayed on the Tower Obelisk 
that's going to show our progress in game, which I think is an amazing addition. So we can actually see the progress that we are being uh, that is being made while we're doing this event. So all those videos I've been making about how to earn all that fractal in each week are actually starting to pay off. So don't worry, I'll be still doing that. Uh, that's actually coming out tomorrow. So stay tuned and you'll see it here. So how's this going to work? Well, you have to earn the fractal and you have to deposit it into the tower obelisk and you get some stuff. You get some stuff uh, by doing this. It's not just a, an event of dump all your fractal into the tower obelisk because they want you to. So here's how it's going to work. Contributing to the Empyrean Foundation costs 100 polarized fractaline. Contributing generates a 25% flat progression to all time lost weapon bounties in your inventory. Your tower obelisk will generate polarized fractaline for you each week equivalent to its resonance power. Increase its resonance power by upgrading the obelisks. Players who donate more than 5,000 polarized fractaline before the end of the season will earn a triumph and an emblem, which we are looking at on the screen right now, switching over to the TWAB. So there you go. 5,000 polarized fractaline into the bank. You're going to earn this. Hopefully you can donate more because uh, if you look right below it, there is a hell of a lot of fractaline that needs to be deposited. So it's going to be in seven stages. Surprise, surprise, Bungie loves seven, seven stages. So we got to look at what it needs to be to hit stage one, two, and three. Stage one, 400 million. Stage two, 700 million. Stage three, 1.2 billion fractaline deposited. We don't even know what stage four, five, and six are yet. Maybe they don't either. Who knows? Maybe they're seeing how quickly we get through stages one, two, and three, and that's what's going to detail what stages four, five, six, and seven really are. We'll see. Uh, when we get there this all goes live the most important part is this all goes live um later what is it this all goes live next reset february 4th well sorry for stuttering through my words there for a minute there guys uh, through the power of editing you got to jump right back into the conversation with me i had to take a little break my son who's supposed to be sleeping right now he got a little crazy uh there was noise in his room and he was calling for me so i had to go run up there and see what was going on he's fine all good let's get back into this so we just talked about the empyrean foundation and now we get to talk about something else that i'm also pretty uh excited about so if you guys are familiar with uh amazon prime there's twitch prime so basically if you have an amazon prime account you have access to twitch prime uh, what Twitch Prime gives you is the ability to subscribe to a streamer on Twitch for free every month. You can, you know, subscribe to them uh, and the revenue goes to that streamer. In addition to that, if you have Twitch Prime, there is free loot that you can earn, usually through free to play games. Uh, there was stuff for Fortnite. There was stuff for um, uh, Apex Legends and many, 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 many other games. Well, now that Destiny has become a free-to-play game, they are jumping on the bandwagon. And there is some free loot that you can earn in-game uh, by linking your Bungie account to your Twitch Prime account. Now, there's a whole thing of how to do this. There's a separate blog post on Bungie's website, which I will post down below in the description as always. So go check that out. Make sure you link your account to the Bungie account, and there is going to be six monthly drops if I read that correctly, which I believe I did, it says right here, we are planning to have six monthly drops uh, with each drop containing four rewards. Now, what are these four rewards? I don't know, but it varies between legendary and exotic gear. Just to give you guys an idea, this month it's going on right now. You have uh, from literally right now until February 25th to go in and claim the current rewards. The current set of rewards are being shown on screen. Once again, we're swapping back and forth as always, but we've got the exotic Ciros Regime Auto Rifle. I always say that wrong. We've got the uh, ornament for the Ciros. We've got a exotic ship and we've got an exotic ghost shell. Four exotics for free. If you've got Twitch Prime, can't go wrong. Keeps you, uh, make sure you guys, if you do have Amazon Prime, make sure you have Twitch Prime. Make sure you're logging in. Make sure you're linking your accounts. This stuff is for free. You get it for free. Who knows what it's going to be next time. But there are six of these drops coming. So I uh, just want to make you aware of it. And hopefully uh, the next ones are just as good. Great weapon. I love the Suros. And that ship looks pretty cool too. 
So next up, uh, we've got a giveaway that Bungie is holding. Uh, just in case you want to see what that is, it has to do with um, just a little bit of stuff that they're giving back. Now uh, we got some lore. You got a free um, Shadow Keep uh, Legendary or Collector's Edition as well. It's going to be in the dis or again in the description below. Go check out the TWAB. There's a link to how to enter the giveaway. Uh, then of course we are still or they are still having the Guardians for Australia t-shirt is up for up for sale for all proceeds going to help donate or help donate <laughs> to help um, everything going on over in Australia as far as the uh, wildfires and all that you know with all, all the money going to uh, well half of the money going to the uh, what is it wildlife I'm reading it right here wires it's called which is the largest wildlife uh, rescue organization and the second half going to the NSW Rural Fire Service. So it's going to the wildlife and then to the uh, fire prevention that's going on over there in Australia. So if you haven't picked yours up, shirt looks pretty awesome. You also get a free emblem that goes along with it. Other than that, guys, that's uh, that's the TWAB. That's really it. Got another one coming next week, of course, as always. Stay tuned for the video tomorrow telling you all about how to earn all that very important fractaline that we uh, just learned about from the Imperium Foundation, that coming back. I'm going to be real curious to see how that plays out. Stay tuned to the channel uh, if any news about this community event comes up or anything else is coming up. Try to make a video about it, get it out to you guys. Hope you did enjoy the video. If you're still here and you're still watching it, hit that like button because you must have enjoyed it somewhat. It's been a lengthy video and you're still here. Like I said, if you really liked it and you want to make sure you catch the next one, hit that subscribe button. That way you are a part of the channel and you can hit that bell on top of it. So that way you get the notifications when all my stuff goes live. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.